Society had to become our whole focus, really. Well, Martin's now 41. When he was 17, he was assaulted. Spent six months in a coma. As soon as you mention sailing, the grin is there. Martin liked fishing and swimming, and I thought, oh, well, water. I started taking him down for a ride. One day I said, would he like to go on his own? So I put him in the boat and he just headed straight out, laughing as he went. It's given him absolute freedom to do, like, to be able to go out on the water and go anywhere he wants on his own, you know. It's just, it's the only thing he can do on his own. Um, it's just amazing. When he's on the water, he is competitive. Marty goes out there to win, but he goes out there mostly to enjoy sailing. He loves the racing, the competition, don't you? Yeah. Twice he's been Disabled Sailor of the Year for Victoria, and then last year he was nominated for um, Disabled Sailor of the Year for Australia. On top of that was the, um, the opportunity to go internationally. Wherever the, there's an event on, Martin's ready to go. The spin-off from that is the, the friends that he's made along the way. It's absolutely fantastic. Well, Martin had a small amount of compensation. 7500 was awarded to him. We've been trying to get access to his money to um, purchase this vehicle for him that will suit him. He needs a vehicle that'll take a reasonable amount in it, as well as him. With compensation, that will ha certainly be a big help, because without anything, it's a very big We'd be in expense. trouble. We'd mm. be in real trouble. Well, hopefully we'll be able to set Martin up for the future, because, you know, like, we won't be here forever. Mm. And, um, I don't like to think about what'll happen to them when we're not here. For Martin, it's, it is his life. It's the most important thing in his life. Gives him a sense of freedom. Of course we're proud of him, what else? Yeah, I mean, uh, you couldn't help but be proud of him, yes. <laughs>